One Kings Count Dash, two Kings 17. Sometimes the relationship was peaceful, sometimes it was not. The third one found the actual one. Let's talk about depression. <laughs> okay, hello. It is currently almost one o'clock and I thought it would be really fun to talk about something that I struggle with a lot and that is being depressed. So basically, anyway, so basically, um, I go through phases where I'm super productive and I get stuff done. I'm cleaning my room every week and my bed is spread every morning and I'm writing my gratitude journal and I'm so thankful and so good. And then I start going to bed a little earlier, which is really unlike me. No, I go to bed at a pretty early time, but I'll go to bed even earlier and I'll sleep even longer and that's when I know that there's something wrong and I don't know this has been happening to me recently and I feel like a lot of people struggle with this so I guess openly talking about it is a great way to get through it today to get out of bed I wore a shirt that I really liked that I haven't worn before because I like it too much so I don't wear it which is something that I do all the time and I put my hair up in a way that I've never put my hair up before and I wore green pants you couldn't really see it but I'm not flexible enough to do it again I might have just pulled a muscle but um those things made me feel good and it got me to class it got me to finish my reading it got me to feel a little bit more productive and now I'm in the mood to clean my room and I just think that sometimes like in the beginning of this video I have my ideal routine my ideal morning routine where I just feel super productive and I wake up super early and actually in that video when I filmed it all those months ago it was like a month ago literally exactly a month ago I filmed it and I was like, I'm gonna go on a run and I went on a run for literally 30 seconds before I almost died of like being out of breath. <coughs> and I was like, girl, it's time to hit it back in because it was really cold outside. But that also, I'm just super out of shape and I was being a little bit too ambitious. But even that is like a really good example of how our highs can be really high and our lows can be really low. And I think that that's just a part of life. I'm trying to come to a more relaxed conclusion on everything i am such like an extremist that i'm like everything's bad and everything's good and like i need things to be good even when things are bad and well like i'm an extremist in that sense but i just feel like it's okay to feel 
bad and it's okay to feel good and like maybe feeling good feels better than feeling bad but like I don't know I'm just trying to come to like a point where I'm more at peace with things that are going on in my life and I think that peace is what we should all be looking for um I'm in a Christian university and we're required to take um religion classes which sometimes can get off my nerves but um we're talking about this prophet jeremiah and i didn't really know about him that much um until now but he his life was like so just filled with like torment um because he was a prophet and people didn't like what he was saying and like he went through a lot and there were times where it just his life seemed like super depressing but he was called by God to do something and he did it and he was not happy all the time like he was very far from like happy and because of like the just the state that he was living with in like the people around him were sinful and just the state that he was living in was not a happy time and it, he wasn't in a happy like mood like at all mostly throughout his life he never got married never had children because of what was going on in the world but like god was with him and throughout his whole life and i think that really says something because i feel like we think that being close to god is a completion of something but our life is a journey and that journey is going to have ups and downs regardless of how close or how far you are from god you're still going to go through trials and tribulations mm -hmm. but i think there is a peace that comes like the peace is what we should be looking ugh, sorry there is a peace that comes with god and that peace is what should we should be looking for it shouldn't be eternal happiness or eternal sadness it should be a peace with whatever we're going through at the time that everything's gonna be okay and i may be feeling really sad right now but that's okay and i may be feeling really happy right now and that's great but like i don't know i think that's what I'm learning and I am 19 so I have a lot of learning to do so I'm gonna clean my room even though I'm getting like the feeling that I don't want to I'm still gonna do it because I know that a clean space creates a clean mind and that's where I want to be um, it's currently Friday and tomorrow is my Sabbath so whatever your day of rest is I and if you don't even have one, I implore you to rest. Um, I think we're made to rest uh, well, at least once out of the week. And that's what I am looking forward to. So. One million hair care consultations completed to date. Start your free consultation today. So in love with your ex And I sit on the side of the bed Leaning in your camper What's a fun song to sing? He eats them dry in a cup You can barely see it, but I sprayed clean product all over <laughs> my pants Wow, I was trying to clean the toilet and like I was looking like the image was too embarrassing for me to film I just wanted to show you guys what happened but the image me just looking at my pants covered 
and like the way I haphazardly spray the toilet. I'm not a housewife. I'm not a housewife. Did your boot stop working? Did your truck break, truck break down? I saw the remnants of that trend on my other addictions, which is like YouTube shorts and reels now because your girl can't stay away. I was out of your night. <laughs>